He is known for accompanying Robert Peary on seven Arctic voyages over a span of 23 years that he is recognized for his participation in the 1908-1909 expedition that claimed to have reached the North Pole. He is Matthew Henson. Matthew Alexander Henson, an African-American explorer, is renowned for his remarkable expeditions to the Arctic alongside Robert Peary. Over a span of nearly 23 years, Henson accompanied Peary on seven voyages, spending a total of 18 years on these daring expeditions. Their most notable achievement came during the 1908-1909 expedition when they claimed to have reached the geographic North Pole on April 6, 1909. Henson proudly asserted that he was the first member of their party to set foot on the North Pole. Born in Nanjimoy, Maryland, to free black American parents, Henson's early life was shaped by his upbringing as a sharecropper. He spent his formative years in Washington, D.C., but at the age of 12, he left school to work as a cabin boy. Eventually, he returned to Washington and became a sales clerk at a department store, where he had a fateful encounter with Robert Peary, who would change the course of his life. In 1887, Peary hired Henson as his personal valet while working on the Nicaragua Canal. Their initial Arctic expedition took place in 1891-1892, with Henson serving as a navigator and craftsman. He quickly became known as Peary's first man and diligently studied Inuit survival techniques alongside his mentor. During their historic 1908-1909 expedition to Greenland, Henson was among the six members, including Peary and four Inuit assistants, who claimed to have reached the geographic North Pole. Henson proudly declared himself as the first member of the party to reach what they believed to be the Pole. While their claim was widely accepted at the time, in 1989, Wally Herbert's research cast doubt on the reliability of their expedition records, suggesting navigational errors that may have placed them 30 to 60 miles shy of the pole. Henson's participation in the expedition brought him a measure of fame, leading him to publish a memoir titled A Negro Explorer at the North Pole in 1912. As he grew older, his accomplishments gained renewed recognition. In 1937, he became the first African American to be granted life membership in the Explorers Club, and in 1948, he was elevated to the club's highest level of membership. Henson was awarded the Peary Polar Expedition Medal in 1944 and received by Presidents Harry Truman and Dwight Eisenhower at the White House. In 1988, he and his wife were reinterred at Arlington National Cemetery, honoring his legacy. In 2000, the National Geographic Society posthumously bestowed upon Henson the Hubbard Medal, and in September 2021, the International Astronomical Union named a lunar crater after him. Matthew Henson's expeditions alongside Robert Peary have left an indelible impact on the world, showcasing the resilience and courage of explorers. His achievements continue to inspire and remind us of the remarkable contributions made by individuals who dared to venture into the unknown. In Southern Maryland, young Matthew Henson experienced racial violence and oppression from white supremacist groups. To escape this hostile environment, his family moved to Georgetown, near the nation's capital. After the death of his parents, Matthew was sent to live with his uncle in Washington, D.C. There, he received a few years of education before his uncle's passing. Matthew then attended a black public school and worked a summer job washing dishes. At the age of 10, he attended a ceremony honoring Abraham Lincoln, where he was inspired by Frederick Douglass' powerful speech advocating for education and the fight against racial prejudice. Motivated by these words, 12-year-old Matthew ventured to Baltimore and became a cabin boy on the merchant ship Katie Hines. Under the guidance of Captain Childs, he learned to read and write while traveling to various ports around the world, including the Russian Arctic Seas. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.